Hi Scorpio, Heather here to do your uh, weekly reading for April 20 through to the 26th. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading and as such the messages will not resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. I'd like to thank you for joining me and for anyone who would like to know which deck I'm using, I am using Legacy of the Divine Tarot. I've pulled one card with a clarifier. And I will also be reading the overall energy for the week, which is at the bottom of the deck. And I've also pulled an Animal Speak room. So Scorpio, you have the Seven of Wands this week. And it is being clarified by the Six of Coins. And at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck you have, sorry, let me just, oh, this way. You have the Ten of Coins. There we go. And your animal speak rune is nope, the coyote, which is about balance. Okay, so Scorpio, you have the Ten of Coins here as your overall energy for the week. So for some of you, you might actually be coming into an inheritance. You may be retiring, but this is all about you leaving a legacy. So Aces are always, or aces or ones are always a beginning. Tens are the completion of a cycle or an energy type. And coins is related to, it's earth energy, so physical energy, usually related to your physical, tangible assets, things that you can touch, hold, feel. So your money, your possessions, your home, your house. So long-term security items, things that make you feel safe, secure, and stable in your life. So this is the completion of that. This is about you growing that wealth. It's something that took a long time, a lot of effort in order to build and grow. And that's the energy that you have around you for the um, for this, this week, Scorpio. So it can represent you coming again into an inheritance or security as part of a larger group. So this could can also be security in relation to, to your friends, family or community or a corporation. And um, it's also about long-term investments. So things that aren't just like liquid, easily liquefied assets. So this could be things like land, um, family businesses, um, again, inheritance, that kind of money. But it's about successful manifestation. So if you are trying to achieve anything this week, if it's not about you receiving an inheritance or, or the long-term investments coming to fruition or anything like that, this can be, also has the energy of anything that you put in motion this week will grow and have that successful manifestation or abundance. And that something that you start now will have that long-term gain for you down the road. So this is a good time for you to start anything too this week, Scorpio. It has that kind of an energy. Now this week you do have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is about, um, this is about you protecting yourself it's def uh, protecting yourself against competition um, defending yourself defending your beliefs your your ideologies um, standing your ground protecting anything that makes you feel safe secure and stable so that's the energy of the seven of wands so you see in this picture I'm going to hold it a little closer so you can see it so this person here is standing in this doorway. So this doorway represents, it's a gateway to everything behind this person, is everything that makes them feel safe, secure, stable, everything that they've worked hard for. And um, these are the, the wands that are coming at, at them. This is the competition. This is what this person is protecting themselves against. But this person has the higher ground. They're in an advantageous position right now to defend themselves. So this is about you having the courage to face a difficult situation. Um, it's also about any prior achievements or anything that you had um, that you've done in the past. It's put it's has put you into a position where there's people competing um, against you for it. So it's about you taking a stand for what you believe in and you protecting your assets, but doing so with integrity and 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 um, that kind of an action and then you also have the six of coins here which is clarifying it and six of coins this is the, this is the um, card of giving and receiving so it's about giving help receiving help and generosity it's the understanding of what goes around comes around it's, it's that kind of a card so it's understanding that the universe provides for you uh, for you and, and all of your needs in very magical ways 
And it can also represent a person coming in to help you, um, not only with money. So again, it can indicate an inheritance, but it can also be someone is, is helping you with, with relationships or even helping you with this conflict. So if someone does come in to help you with, with some kind of challenge or competition or so, whatever it is that you're doing, what you need to protect yourself against or you're defending yourself against, um, do accept that help this week. And it's also about you um, cultivating generosity this week. So even if there is that competition, it's about if, if you see things from, if you have to stand your ground, protect your beliefs, protect your interests, try to also see the other person's point of view. And are you being too stodgy? Are you being too, um, where, where there's no flexibility at all? And where can you flex? Where can you bend? in order to create a bit of more of a reciprocity in your life and that generosity and that balance. Because then you have the coyote here and the coyote is about balance. But it's also about balance in, in um, balancing that, it's that work-life balance, but it's, it's balancing um, seriousness with fun and play. So coyote does teach you the balance of wisdom and folly and how they have to go hand in hand that successful people they learn how to have fun at work um, and and that even though if the 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 plan or you can't see the path the future of, of the path that you're on do know the things that do do happen for a reason and it's finding balance with that and trusting in that and trusting in the generosity of the universe as well and it's also about you realizing that you have more power and control over your life and the decisions within it than you realize so it's about you learning to be flexible and this is also here with the seven of wands you might have to be a little bit flexible because it is being clarified with that six of coins so being flexible um, make sure you take time to laugh but also choose what is best for you even if it seems like it's difficult and that's something that coyote also teaches you so Scorpio, this concludes your reading for the week of April 20th through to the 26th. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. And Scorpio, have a fantastic week and take care.